Hello friends, hi, this is Ganesh Naik. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and become a better version of themselves. And I also help students preparing for FRM and CFA exam. Today I'm back with uh, one of the interview of my student. She, she has been able to clear her FRM level one in May 2023 attempt. This was her first attempt. And she's going to be telling us about her journey, how, he, how she prepared for the exam, what was the approach and what are the major challenges that she faced. So with this, let us start with the discussion. So first of all, Saidi, thank you very much for taking out time and talking to us and giving perspective of the exam from your side. And uh, for the benefit of the audience, if you can give us a brief about yourself, when you started your preparation, what were you doing? What was the education value? So first of all, I would like to thank you for inviting me for this interview. Uh, I am Saili Zoshi and before doing FRM, I was working in Namura as a financial analyst and uh, I have over seven, uh, 6.5 years of experience working in investment bank. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and in, my role was were, uh, a trade support kind of thing. Trade support. Okay. And when you started your preparation, you were working, you, you were doing simultaneously working also, right? Yes, I was working. Yeah, simultaneously. Okay. And what made you go for FRM? What was the motivating factor? Actually, I felt like I'm kind of stuck in my career. So I wanted to do some global certification. So FRM seemed to be a good option for me. So I go for it. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. And then when did you start your preparation for FRM? Which month? For the main exam. Uh, uh, I started searching for courses. Then I came across your videos on YouTube, and I liked it because it were uh, those were easy to understand. So I contacted you, and uh, I enrolled in I guess September end, October first. October first week, and from that day onwards, were you preparing properly or? You took some time to start the preparation. Uh, uh, no, uh, I was just going through your online video lectures, but it was not full fledged. Uh, I took some time to get settled, uh, like in that studying mode. So, what what was the uh, specific study plan? In the sense, uh, were you all following the order which was given by me, or were you going book one, book two, book three? or any other order that you had? No, uh, uh, I used to go through video lectures before your live lectures. Uh, so I used to watch your video lectures and then attend your live lectures. So you are basically following the order of my lectures, basically the flow of the lectures for preparation. Yes. Right? Okay. Now, yes. when uh, you started your preparation along with job, so what was the number of hours that you were kind of dedicating on single day, on each day and on weekends to prepare? Yeah, in initial phase, it was very difficult uh, to manage time. I used to get hardly uh, an hour or two uh, to study. But uh, after quitting my job, I started full fledged. After uh, quitting my job, I had two months. Uh, so in those two months, I started studying for like six to seven hours so in that time that time was very crucial for me so uh, um, i prepared very well in that time so you you quit your job in on first of april am i correct uh, i quit my job in uh, november or december i guess my last working day was 10th march and my exam Thank was you. on 10th may so i had exactly two months exactly two months right but from so from your uh, october yeah. till your 10th march you were only able to dedicate one or one and a half hour maximum that was the time frame that you were dedicating uh yeah one or two hours yeah one or two, two hours and on weekends i was studying for four to five hours okay and when did you complete your first full reading of the content that means all 62 chapters you've seen uh, 
if i remember correctly by uh, april first week uh, uh, end of first week of april i completed first reading okay and you were solving the question bank uh, when while watching the video or you said no i'll solve it later on what was the approach that you were following and when did you complete uh, your solving actually there your was uh, huh actually there was no proper sequence for solving question banks uh, like i i could complete only 50 to 60% of your question bank but uh, i okay. used to complete it uh, as soon as i see my videos okay okay got it and uh, when you are saying the chapter wise question banks so whatever wrong that you had in those question banks you were going back to the book and analyzing it that was also happening Yes, yes, I I was doing that. Okay, okay. So by by the uh, end of March or uh, first week of April, what was your situation? You had completed all sixty two chapters and question bank around thirty forty percent was done till that time, correct? Yeah, thirty forty percent was done. but whatever you taught us actually by the end of april uh, i forgotten most of the concepts so i started again revising uh, by uh, watching your youtube revision crash course video and that was very helpful because it was a uh, short it helped me a lot in preparation got it got it so basically uh, by the end of april when we reached over there you were, were able to complete almost 60 70% of the questions and again you started one more full revision right and when yeah. when did you uh, started solving mock papers when was the time that you started to be very honest i didn't solve and to be not very even one. honest i didn't solve any mocks <laughs> not even one i just okay. gone through the uh, gap sample paper day before the exam but it was very helpful because uh 30 40% of the questions was were from uh gap sample paper wow if you wow, if you okay. have gone through uh, very thoroughly then it was very uh, helpful got it and so basically from 1st of may you were just revising the content you were revising the books again and uh, yes, one mock paper revising. that you solved yes. okay now i want to ask you uh, throughout this entire I journey i didn't solve i just gone through Actually, you didn't even solve the mock papers. Okay. Now, I want to ask you this very specific question: From the start till the end, what was the major challenge that you were facing in the entire preparation? Challenge was that I was understanding concepts, but remembering it collectively was uh, not possible. Uh, so I had to revise it, and uh, uh, when I was doing revision, I started making hand hand notes. and uh, i okay. start started uh, making formula she was not able to remember everything so for revising uh, it was helpful making hand so you notes, created your own short notes you created formula sheets so that you can connect it back yeah. and do final one revision properly perfect perfect and uh, yes. basically when you went to the exam okay on the day of the exam the first one hour what happened in that first one that means when you started solving question what did you panic did you found difficult question did you find easy question what was it all uh i was very calm in exam like normal uh, because if you take pressure then you tend to forget things so i was very calm and uh, first four five questions were extremely difficult i couldn't solve that so i skipped that and move on to next question then my approach was very uh, easy because uh, uh, i was targeting easy questions in first round so in first round i targeted uh, easy questions and in second round i targeted tough questions so by this way i could complete 70 to 80 questions uh, with 90% accuracy and remaining questions i i just ticked as my best guess uh, so time was also the constant so uh wow okay i picked it as my best guess because i was confused in two options uh, 
uh, two right. options was very similar like i was confused these or these so between that i took so how many theory and how many calculation were there in your exam i got 70 30 70 uh, theory and 30 calculation and 30 But theory calculation uh, questions were very difficult uh, because okay yes 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 calculation question i was coming to that yeah so they were very difficult for you to solve or time consuming yeah because uh, i i got uh, uh, probability and that was very difficult uh, and uh, questions from book 4 was easy but questions from book 2 cons book was a uh, very tough calculation questions okay 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 and then uh, when you went uh, to the theory questions okay so what was the overall uh, easy difficulty that you found in theory theory questions i didn't find it that difficult but uh, calculation i it was tough okay okay wonderful then uh, when you came out of the exam was there any number in your mind that okay out of 100 i'll get 60 correct i'll get 90 correct what was that number there was no any specific number but i was very sure that i will be clearing first book and third book but i was not sure about cord but i tried my best in exam wonderful and now when the results are out you got 1 3 2 3 3 so book 2 which is quants and book 4 yeah. which is uh, valuation at its model you got third quarter but uh, book 1 and book 3 were really good so what is been the reaction of people around you yeah when the results are out uh, everyone actually uh, surprised because i yeah because i uh, did not inform anyone that i was doing frm and all so they were uh, it okay. was present surprise for them that <laughs> i cleared wow wow wonderful now if if somebody comes to you and ask you that uh, give me three tips to clear frm exam what would be those three tips revision revision is the key uh, and uh, consistent consistency consistency is also uh, very important and solving more and more question bank because that gives you confidence okay so revision consistency and solving more and more question uh if you can just tell us uh, any mistake that you made in your preparation and you wanted to avoid it what would that be one mistake yeah actually i didn't uh, prepare hand written notes and so i i was struggling with formulas uh, so you should okay. make it uh, when you you are preparing otherwise you will have to go through again and got it so basically some formula sheet some short notes will help you to revise things fast yeah that, that was the idea perfect yes. now uh, so basically i feel this interview is going to be really helpful because Uh, a lot of people uh, who are watching their video from you being from the investment banking domain they a lot of people from that side also give the exam so and like you said you are facing challenges initially you you didn't solve mock papers still you were able to clear the question bank was also 50 60% so i planned so, to solve three mock papers but i couldn't okay okay but see the reason i'm uh, highlighting this point because there might be a lot of students who are in your similar situation before the exam and they might feel i will not clear the exam and your story can help give them motivation to to continue their preparation it is possible to clear the exam even give, even without giving mock papers or even being entire your concept has to be clear and you should not panic in the exam i think so those two things helped in your favor to clear you the exam right so wonderful saili thank you very much uh, for taking yes. out time and talking to us because this conversation is going to be really helpful for the new students who are going to go for the frm exam so thank you very much yes thank you sir